They are precious, adorable, and they bring joy to every parent. Research over the years has shown that exclusive breastfeeding is a sure way to make them thrive and brilliant. Exclusive breastfeeding, which is feeding a baby immediately after birth with only breast milk up until six months of life, without water, any other liquid, food or medicine except prescribed, has been proven to save more children's lives than any other preventive intervention. According to National Nutrition and Health Survey, only 27% of 0-5 to five month old infants are breastfed exclusively. Sadly so, the remaining 73% are predisposed to various illnesses that could be prevented through exclusive breastfeeding. The breast milk contains all the food elements that a baby needs, be it protein, carbohydrate, fat, minerals, vitamins, all present in breast milk. They are present in a correct quantity and quality. Within the first three, four days of a child's birth, the first milk that comes out is yellowish. And unfortunately, most women discard this. It is very, very important that a child should receive that colostrum. It is the first immunization for that child. And so it contains a lot of immune factors. The first 1,000 days of a child's life, that is from conception through pregnancy till they are two years old, is critical for adequate nutrition. The first 1,000 days in a baby's life are very critical. This is when the formative um, aspects in a, in a child's life and the child's body uh, are all being uh, formed. The first one hour after birth is critical for every child but two-thirds of newborn babies still do not receive breast milk within this time frame. The nurses in the hospital assisted me, though I'm a nurse, but they helped. Immediately the midwife came and put the baby to breast 30 minutes after I gave birth to help the uterus contract. When I started it, the breast milk was not coming out. We endured till after two days before the breast start coming out. All mothers who give birth to their babies are able to breastfeed their babies. All mothers. When a baby is out of the mother's womb, it should be put straight to the breast. That is the first step. We call it initiation of breastfeeding. They gave me so many reasons not to do that exclusive breastfeeding because they were like, the first breast milk, that yellow, that cholesterol, they were like, it's dirty. I'm supposed to wash it off before breastfeeding my baby, rest for like a day before breastfeeding my baby. Colostrum is not, I repeat, is not bad milk. It is good, good, milk. It is the best food for a baby. When women engage in exclusive breastfeeding, they not only help themselves and their babies. Child deaths can be prevented by more than one-third per year, school attainment can be improved, poverty reduced, wages increased and women better empowered to run their businesses. Despite the nutritional bottlenecks that Nigerian babies face, Many mothers can still attest to the fact that exclusively breastfed babies are happier and healthier. There are many benefits. My baby will be sharp and smart. Breast milk reduces the risk of this sickness, this diarrhea also. So the baby who is exclusively breastfed uh, will, will develop faster, will grow faster and even better and stronger. The organs, the various tissues, and in the various milestones, when the baby first smile, when the baby first sit up, when the baby first uh, crawl, when the baby first walk, all those will be advanced. Babies who are exclusively breastfed. Uh, for the mother, for instance, um, it's, it's a way of preventing uh, ovarian cancer. 
It helps in retracting um, the uterus of the mother after childbirth. For some women also, it serves as a, a sort of um, family planning process, naturally. The mother would not be able to conceive while she's breastfeeding. And it's also very, very important also for the community. It saves us a lot of forest. It's eco-friendly and you don't need to uh, boil water, you don't need to look for water. We'll also be preventing uh, cancer of the breast in as many as about 20,000 women. We will also be saving the lives of children who will needlessly would have died because of contamination of feeding that child with other things. Poor exclusive breastfeeding rates stem from some religious and traditional beliefs, illiteracy, poor awareness and maternal literacy among women, caregivers and their supporters, lack of adequate antenatal care, poor funding for nutrition interventions, non-implementation of policies that promote exclusive breastfeeding, and lots more. Non-exclusive breastfeeding has impact on the economy through uh, several channels. First, because of the mortality of children that it causes, it leads the country to lose future workforce. It is also a factor of maternal mortality, which is a loss of current workforce. It is uh, causing disease, which has a cost for the health system. Mothers will be using breast milk substitute, and that also has a cost. And globally, it is estimated that if we invest $1 in exclusive breastfeeding, it yields $35. And when we narrow it down uh, to Nigeria, there is a study that has been conducted uh, which shows that uh, if we manage to improve the rate of exclusive breastfeeding to the level of efficiency, which would be like 90%, that would uh, result into uh, $21 billion for the economy of Nigeria. Mothers who work or run businesses away from home are often hardest hit when it comes to achieving the six-month goal of exclusively breastfeeding their babies. Exclusive breastfeeding means that you breastfeed your baby on demand. But how many offices have a private room for the women to go and breastfeed? You know, how many offices have creches for them that can provide the care that their babies need while they go to work? Mine was a bit difficult because they were twins. The nature of the job I do could not permit me to go on exclusive breastfeeding, but I have to put, up, put out the business aspect of it just to breastfeed them. I breastfed exclusively for six months, even though I'm working. In the hospital where I work, we have a crutch. The enabling environment must be created. Uh, breastfeeding mothers must be supported. The families have to support them reduce the, uh, the, the level of work to be able to concentrate on uh, caring for the child. Workplaces must be such that women can still continue to breastfeed for that first six months exclusively and thereafter be able to also breastfeed their child when they go to work. If they are able to have six months maternity leave, paid maternity leave, then it will really ease a lot of problems for them and they'll be able to ex be, uh, exclusively breastfeed their babies. Access to education on exclusive breastfeeding, especially for the rural women, remains a challenge. A lot of women who are in the rural areas do not actually go to the government hospitals as much as they should to get the kind of information and the skills that they need to do the exclusive breastfeeding. So that is where some of the lapses have been and, I, and that's where um, more of the sensitization needs to be scaled up. Then we have some work to be done at community level, working on the social norms, removing the beliefs and the cultural and the religious barriers to exclusive breastfeeding, having the religious leaders and mothers and grandmothers and fathers to really support exclusive breastfeeding. We can lay the foundation for good nutrition in children if we start off right with early initiation of breastfeeding and exclusive breastfeeding. Many countries have experienced increase in exclusive breastfeeding practices on a large scale. Practices that we can apply here in Nigeria to achieve the same successes. The government should prioritize exclusive breastfeeding and nutrition counseling, including pre- and postnatal care in healthcare services, more mass media and awareness campaign clearly showing families the benefits. We should create an enabling environment where parents get adequate leave and finally, 
regulations must be in place to check the unethical marketing of breast milk substitutes.